OSC on countdown. Copy, go ahead. OSC, at this time, do we have concurrence that we have properly enforced the public risk clearance criteria set in our procedures and that our FAA license is intact? Affirmative to both. I have checked in with... Good Arthur. afternoon. You're looking at SpaceX's Starship Suborbital Test Vehicle Number 15 Count down to flight in just under five minutes. It was almost five weeks ago we launched Starship 11 on a test flight from the adjacent Pad B. Today's flight is from Pad A. Now our demonstration objective again is with the last four flights slowly climb to 10 kilometer altitude, which will take about four minutes, turning off engines on the way up as we burn off propellant mass. Once we reach 10 kilometers altitude, we will begin the horizontal descent back to the landing zone adjacent to the launch pad. If all goes well, we'll light three engines to flip the stage back to vertical and eventually land on a single engine. This flight includes multiple upgrades and improvements to address the findings from the rapid unplanned disassembly we experienced on the last flight, this vehicle also incorporates changes that get us closer to the orbital configuration planned for flight later. T minus two minutes, we continue to count down for Starship 15 flight. Talent load is complete in the liquid oxygen system on the Starship. Methane fuel load is also complete on the Starship. T minus one minute. All systems remain go for the flight of Starship 15. We're getting ready to disconnect the quick disconnect from the vehicle in preparation for flight.
B plus 30 seconds, Starship 15 is airborne as we get a view of the three Raptor engines as we're powering our way to 10 kilometers altitude in today's test flight. Just past one minute into flight, we're through two kilometers altitude. All three Raptor engines continuing to burn. Next major event in about one minute is we will turn off the first of the three Raptor engines. Coming up at T plus two minutes, uh, we appear to have uh, frozen the view from the engine cameras. However, the Raptor engine's continuing to perform and we've got shutdown on engine three on time. B plus two minutes, 40 seconds, while we're trying to regain video from the vehicle, we continue to ascend. We have just passed the eight kilometer point in flight. Everything continues to look good on Starship 15. Coming up on three and a half minutes into flight, we're approaching the 10 kilometer altitude. We'll begin to hover here. We've had engine number two shut down on time. We'll now be moving into the hover with one engine. And then in a little bit, we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent. But hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live views of the flight. Just past T plus four minutes into flight. We've got the views back from the Raptor engines. We get T plus four minutes, 34 seconds. While we're working to regain video, it looks like we've got a shot looking back at the flaps on Starship. We're in the horizontal defense, descent phase now. We're passing six kilometers. Now, a reminder, phase that's coming up as we get ready for landing, we will light three Raptor engines, flip the vehicle from horizontal to vertical. If things look good, we will shut down one Raptor engine and then possibly a second one and land on a single engine in the landing zone. Five minutes into flight, Raptor continuing to descend. We're coming up on three kilometers altitude.
have ignition. Starship heading back to the landing zone. And Starbase Flight Control has confirmed, as you can see on the live video, we are down. The Starship has landed. We're going through the safing sequence in the flight computer right now. We'll be back in a moment. Well, if you've just joined us, you missed a great flight. Right now we have successfully landed in the landing zone right on the concrete. You can see we do have a small fire at the base of the vehicle. Not unusual with the methane fuel that we're carrying as we continue to work on the test vehicle design. You may be able to see uh, water going on the pad from the water cannons. But again, Starship 15 powered by three Raptor engines we have successfully launched it from our facility in South Texas, landed after a routine flight where we shut engines down on the way to 10 kilometers, executed the horizontal unpowered descent, and then we got some great views of the engines lighting up as we came down for a landing at a nice slow velocity onto the concrete landing pad. The past two weeks have been full of accomplishments by the SpaceX team. We've had the incredible launch of the Crew-2 astronauts on the Crew Dragon Resilience. We've had the first nighttime landing and recovery of the four astronauts on Crew Dragon Endeavor's flight last Saturday night. And two successful flights of Falcon 9 in the past seven days, each carrying 60 Starlink satellites successfully into orbit. And now the SpaceX Texas team has flown a test flight of Starship with a landing back in the landing zone here in Starbase, Texas. I'd also like to remember this is the 60th anniversary of the first American in space, astronaut Alan Shepard and his Mercury capsule, and SpaceX has landed Starship successfully on this date. Again, an outstanding period as we work to enable the future of human spaceflight and expansion into the solar system. And with that, we're going to conclude today's webcast with the views here of Starship 15. Thank you for joining us here at SpaceX, and have a good day.